bras. You don't have to wear them, but if you do, you know that finding one that doesn't annoy you all day is a challenge. It's time to find some brassieres that really give us the support that we want. It's booby-like, it's lady-like, and we're gonna get fitted for bras. <laughs> The first time I ever went shopping for a bra, I think my mom took me to like JCPenney or something. And she was like, these are the ones where it's like a two for one deal, so we can pick from here. I think I was in seventh grade when I coerced my mother to take me bra shopping. Honestly, the first time I was ever fitted for a bra not at a Victoria's Secret, I remember that. I remember the person looked at my boobs and was like, a number! And I was like, there's no way you got that just from looking at me. My mom had a double mastectomy when I was young. So she didn't have breasts when I went to go get, you know, fitted for bras. So I just kind of let the whole thing go under the radar. Just kind of being there for my mom rather than being there for my biddies. I have two issues with the bras that I own. One is that most of them are very cheap and inexpensive and they wither very quickly. Two, I don't know if it's the bra. I think it's just the situation of the fact that I have like ski slope shaped boobs. And so there will always inevitably be a space between my boob and my cup. Ski slope boobs go like this. Pew! At the end of the dip is my nipple. Most of my bras are just strapless bras, which I realize is wacky. The thing about strapless bras is that they sort of anchor into your skin. You get used to it though, it's weird. I feel like there are so many things about wearing a bra where you're just like, that's just life. I've never really had a bra that I liked. To me, a perfect bra is one that's comfortable, the straps don't slide down, you don't have an indent by the end of the day into your skin. I just always have a gap in my cup, and then also like my, my shoulder straps are always falling down. It's just a mess in general. That's why I love the days where I can just go braless. This is my favorite bra because I kind of like the color. Most of my bras are all the exact same bra, just in different colors. And so I think that this one is my favorite is because it's the newest one that I have. So I know I just talked about how I like strapless bras, but I think this is my favorite bra, actually. It's the one bra I wear that has straps. I mean, it still feels pretty good. So I have on my Bay bra. I got this bra maybe six months ago when I was just at Target perusing, and I was like, I could use a new bra. I'm gonna treat myself. I never adjust this bra. I put it on and she's got me like a ride or die bitch. I could jump and move around in no bra because my boobs are just like, we're here. On average, I probably adjust this bra once or twice a day. I can definitely move around in this bra. I mean, not much would happen anyway. <laughs> I'm definitely like mobile in this bra. I can move. Will they bounce to the moon and back? Yes. Can I move in this bra? I adjust my bra probably between 20 and 30 times a day. I hope that I get to find a bra that makes me feel like it's all me and less padding and that it creates like a nice shape for my boobs. We're gonna go show people our boobs! Woo! We are here at Lucy's Boudoir in Long Beach, and we're about to get fitted for some boob holders! Time. My name is Crystal Rogers. I am the owner here at Lucy's Boudoir, and I fit women in their perfect size bras. I'm Audra, and I'm a fitter here, and I also do the marketing at Lucy's Boudoir. My philosophy on bra fitting is simple. You know, there is a size out there for every woman. We just need to find you the right style and the right fit. We're really excited to get the girls in some really great bras and send them on their way. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Audra. I'm your Freddie. Fitter. Are you ready? Yes. You look nervous. I am nervous. What size are you wearing right now? I don't know. <laughs> Mystery size, okay. But yeah. What size is this? This is a 32B. Okay, that's what I've been wearing. Okay. I've been fitted at least 10 times in my life. Oh my gosh. At and least. what happened? I actually was fitted six times in the span of one day. Oh wow. I got six different sizes. Oh, I love it. Only one of them worked. So now we're gonna try on a bra for size, see okay. what your size is. It's gonna be our fit bra. So once we get the perfect fit, then we can go into styles that fit your body. Let's do it. All right, let's get started. Ooh, a bra. The first size we're gonna put you in is a 36A. So we're gonna check that and see if it's right, okay? Okay. First thing, you have to have your band parallel to the ground. Second thing is that new bras fit really good on the loosest hook, not the tightest. Oh. A lot of women wear their bra, new bras on the tightest hook, and then when their bra stretches out, they can't tighten their bra anymore. It feels like it fits really well. Right, but this, you're not feeling this style. This style is not okay. quite my style. Okay. okay, this is looking really good, so you always want to make sure that the center of your bra is sitting flat on your chest. If it's not, there's something wrong with the size, or you're not scooped in properly. Chantel, I think that you have bigger boobs than I do. 
Really? Yes. I would be shocked. No, I think you do. I think that my boobs are over a greater surface area. <laughs> I just, I think that they are muffin tops, basically. I, I feel like there's no way I'm bigger than you. I think you have bigger boobs than I do. We will see. So this is a 40 triple That is a 40 D. triple D, yes. You know, we think in terms of the alphabet. F is further along than yeah. a D would be. So yes, naturally you think, okay, she is much larger than me, but you have to think about cup volume. So we're pretty close to your size. Let's try on a different style. Do you wanna try on a push up? Sure. All right, this is bra number two. So you just came out of a 32 double D and now we're in a 32 triple D. That's only because you are picking from the selections that are there yeah. in the stores and available to you. Now, I don't want to alarm you, but I've got mounds. Yes, you do. Look at them. <laughs> so this is a push-up. It's right. a petite bra. So this brand runs a little bit tighter in the band. So if I put you in a 34, you would feel like you were being squeezed. Okay. I actually like this size better, the 32C. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm we're a the same C. size. I have very wide set boobs. Mm -hmm. I don't want to encourage them to drift off into the sea. I would like them to come wow. back to dry land. If you're ever going to get a bra fitting, you want to communicate this to your fitter. You say, hey, you know, even though this visually looks good, it's all about the way that it feels on your body. Yes. Because if it doesn't feel right, you're not gonna wear the bra. I have never had this much boob in my life. <laughs> I feel like a completely different person. Yeah. They're actually like moving when I move. Numero tres. This looks great. This one's a little bit snugger than the other bras, but it still fits really good. It's cool that I'm actually getting properly fitted for a bralette, and I think I'm gonna just be wearing bralettes. Yay. Like you've converted me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a wire-free push-up. Wow, I think you've helped me reclaim my love for push-ups. Oh, like yay. this is this is really nice. Yeah, it's good to switch off too. You don't yeah. need to wear a push-up every day, but it, you can if you want. But this looks really nice. It does feel firmer, but it's not uncomfortable. Okay. This is a 30 double F. Yes, this is a 40 F. So you're saying that a 30 double F is smaller than a 40 F. Absolutely. I lost the bet. I yes. do have bigger boobs than Chantel. I, I could have sworn she had bigger boobs than me. The style of the bra also determines how the bra is gonna fit on your body. And then there's you, there's the shape of your breasts. All of that has to be taken into consideration. And this is why it is so hard for women to find a bra. Finding a bra style that helps to minimize the obvious the symmetry in mm -hmm. your breast is key, and you did it here. Thank you. Of course. I'm very yeah. excited. Yay, I'm glad you found one. I'm not gonna put a shirt on. I'm just gonna walk out like this. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed getting my breasts fit. <laughs> I feel like your body is kind of always changing, like at least mine. I know that I fluctuate all kind of all over the place. And so getting fitted every now and then is something that I think is good to do. A new bra is like getting a facelift but for these two eyes. All right, now that we've got our new bras, we're gonna try them out for a day and see if they make a difference in our lives. So the bras that I wear never have any padding in them, but they're not lace like this. Mm -hmm. This would be like lingerie for me. This wouldn't mm -hmm. be like all day wear. I'm not used to this lace being on my body and touching my body. And so it's definitely something that I'm gonna have to get used to. Did you get big bananas today? Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, I'm wearing my new bra and my new banana tank top. I don't love push-up bras because it just, they kind of feel aggressive. And But this, here you are. Yeah, but here I am with the push-up bra and I like this because there's no wire. I'd like to introduce you, this, these are my boobs and, and this is my stomach and this is my hips. This is my ass. And then we have boobs and boobs again. Yeah, my bra is basically Westworld the bra. I wasn't expecting this to give me as much shape, but wonders never cease. What do you think of my new bra? Yeah, your boobs look pretty good. Okay, I mean, you're the expert, so I trust your opinion. I do look at them a lot. Okay, so you did a video where you found your actual bra size, didn't you? Yeah, I was wearing too small of a size. Uh -huh. And then when I finally got the right bra, it was life-changing. Life it felt so good. It actually pushed me more to not wearing bras. Yeah, I got fitted today for a bra. Yeah. And I'm actually wearing a bralette. I figured out my size, and yes. then this fits me really well. And it feels like I don't even have on a bra. Yes. Do you like it? It's so cute. Mm. A little pop of red for Fred. Pop of red, little pop of red. Yeah. We're taught that we have to wear a bra, but we're never taught how we how you're supposed to wear a bra. Yeah. In my head, I'm like, okay, a bra's supposed to give support and be very tight. So I made sure that it was always very tight by putting it on the furthest clasp in. Meanwhile, I was like, I need some space around the sides because if I can't feel it, then that's when I'm loving it the most. Mm. I'm starting to feel kind of itchy. I'm getting 
itchy boob syndrome. I think it's like, it's the lace and my, my skin is not used to lace or just high quality fabric in general. And so I'm overreacting and I'm freaking out. I held myself differently throughout the entire day with this bra on just because I had, you know, I had something to like push out. Whereas typically I'm just like, well, here I am. It looks like your boobs are separated from your waist. Yeah, it, it also makes me feel like I'm not super flat. I think that sometimes you just kind of like reorganize the general chest area so you can see exactly what's in there. I was amazed yeah. about how much cleavage I had. You were amazed when you saw well, it. You also, I think you also have wide set boobs. I do have wide set boobs. Cause like if you, with wide set boobs, people always think that your cups are smaller than they actually are. I'm not sliding out of it. Like I'm, when I put myself where I want it to be, it stays. A plus. Hell yeah, Lucy's boudoir. I didn't realize how much lift I could get. I'm kind of used to just sort of hanging low and out of sight. I want my boobs to remember their roots, and so I keep them grounded. Realistic, practical. But with these, they definitely were like I guess I didn't realize how low my boobs were before. Normally my boobs are like but today they're like so another thing that I really liked about this bralette was how versatile it was. You can either wear it like this, or it comes with a clasp and you can make it into a racer bag. I am really enjoying this bra. I feel so comfortable. Obvious difference because this is a bralette and I typically wear traditional bras, but even just the fit of everything just feels literally perfect. I forgot that when you wear a new bra, it's tight. Yeah. Okay, I've been wearing this bra for a little bit now and I'm starting to get a case of the diggies. It's not any different than any other bra. It just takes some breaking in. You gotta break in the bra. It's like a pair of shoes for your tits. The point is that I feel very supportive, much more supported than I have in a while. Usually when I wear my normal bras, I usually have swamp boob by the end of the day. Oh. Meaning, lots of sweat right here. Just sits right in there. Yeah, just Bra sits. catches it like a bucket. It <laughs> and this had so much ventilation. So today the temperature got up to 108 degrees. And we were also in the valley for a good bit of it where sweating was inevitable. I didn't feel like any sweat. Like it was perfect. I went to work, I went to dinner, I went to a concert. And so wearing any bra for this amount of time would be kind of uncomfortable. Especially this one since I'm like breaking it in. So I am very ready to take this off and I'm excited to wear it again for a special occasion. If I were to get like another bra that was like my perfect size, I would probably get one that feels like a little bit more every day, like mm -hmm. on my own skin. Overall, I feel like this was a positive change for my old favorite bra. I felt like my old bra, which I still love and I will still keep it in my rotation, was more of like a bralette with a wire. Whereas this is like a classic t-shirt bra and it gives me an extra bit of support and an extra bit of va va boom. I feel like I've just been so flat chested and like have worn bralettes and like lacy bras for so long that I kind of went without having a, a bump here. I'm pretty happy and it's super comfy. Like I don't feel like I'm being attacked by a bra strap behind me. So I'm pretty happy. The digging parts. I think I'm getting used to, like, you know, it doesn't feel bad anymore. Look, if something presses into your skin for eight hours, if it doesn't make a mark, then you might be a ghost. You know, it kind of had everything covered, you know, comfort, support, and aesthetic. I just felt like a badass bitch all day with my cute little bralette. I spent all of my adult life trying to wear push-up bras and trying to make my breasts look different or bigger or more full or everything that they weren't. And I am learning slowly but surely that like a beautiful lace bralette is just as enhancing as something that makes my breasts look different than they actually do. I feel good, I feel confident, I feel beautiful. And as opposed to something that makes it look different, the bralette is just something that adds a little sprinkle to the cake. The thing that I learned is that there is a size family that you fit into and that size family can contain a bunch of like related sizes. So while there's not necessarily a perfect bra size for you, there is a size family that you fit into. Moving forward, whenever I get fitted again, I definitely wanna make sure I have someone who's really knowledgeable and also someone that I feel really comfortable with. I think Audra and Crystal were super mm -hmm. great. They were knowledgeable and they like were to the point, mm -hmm. you know, and I love that. Getting fitted for a new bra, lady tits did. Lady liked. Also, it's a great hat. You know, you can wrap it around your neck if you're ever feeling cold. Okay, so we like these bras. <laughs> cute idiots. <laughs> Too cute idiots. <laughs> boop, 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 boop.